painting with semen a fresh paint tutorial well you need to get your semen in order you know you gotta be able to pump some out if you want to do a semen painting and then you get it all together get it all in one spot get it in a little container you know use whatever you want you want to leave, use an empty can of ravioli or green beans or Whatever weird beans you get in a can. I don't know what kind of beans you get. I don't even know if I know all the beans that exist. But you just get whatever you want. Old chapstick container, you know. Just put it in there. You know what I mean? Get it in there. Get in there. Coke bottle. Just fill it up. Fill it up. And then you get your paintbrush. And you can make one out of pubes if you want to. I prefer it. And then you get your pube paint brush and dip that in the semen. And then you paint. Put some food coloring in it. Make different colors if you want. You know, or whatever. Watercolors, the acrylic paint, you know. P make sure you're ventilated. You know, you don't want to get cancer. You don't want to get cancer! Gotta be ventilated. Gotta be able to breathe. You might want to hook a hose up to an oxygen tank. You might want to use an oxygen tank if you're working around chemicals. Just saying, because... I don't know if we really have enough information about what gives cancer or not, because... I guess Pop Tarts give you cancer. Um, Campbell's soup gives you cancer. And for some reason, the state of Can California knows what gives you cancer or not. And then they have a lot of information. And um, I should probably pay attention to more to things. But I've been painting with my semen too much. And then you just put those little baby, little baby seeds on that paint. And it just makes this work of art. And they dry. And they, you feel them dying. You feel them dying, and that's that's artistic because you can't have too many kids. You can have a couple kids in your life, and that's all you can really do. And there's millions of these semens, these little kids. They're, they're not kids yet, but they need the other part. They need to fuse, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z with the rings or something, or, you know, anything where people fuse together, you know, fuse into a big robot, whatever. I don't find another example. Me fuse with you. Because whenever you watch my videos, you're actually kind of fusing with me because you find some personality differences there. Find a way to merge. Cross that bridge. Come over. Ooh, come over. And you just see me in this valley of doom and we're all, hey, I defeated Satan. <clears throat> actually, I have a book about defeating Satan. It's called Ava and the Demon Slayer. It's free on Google Play. Go check it out. Got my books on Amazon, too, if you prefer that, but. Not all of them are free there for some reason. But anyways, yeah, you feel all the little semen drying on your paint canvas. It's poetic. You know? They could have been kids, man. Imagine all those kids. If they were kids, what they would be like. Like, you know, if you if you have some kind of talent or skill, you should probably have kids donate to a sperm bank or something because, dude, that's like murdering a bloodline. You're robbing the world of your genius? Seriously. You ever see someone without kids and they're some gifted individual? They're probably so narcissistic that they want to murder the children by not having kids. Not having kids is murder. Is that what you're doing? You say, oh, I'm, you're unattractive. I don't want to date you or sleep with you. So then the person never has a kid. You murdered his children. Now paint with semen to let it go and forget about your problems. Painting, painting with semen, ocean. We're painting, painting a semen, ocean. Semen jungle, a jungle of the semen. You say it's gross. But I say it's beautiful, beautiful. Say it's gross, but I say it's beautiful. My heart feels it. Woo, worship, worship. I can't stand church worship. Did you ever get dragged to church once? I can't do it. 